everyone, welcome to Steph's Creations. My name is Stephanie, and if you're a returning viewer, hey guys. If you're a new viewer, welcome to the team. What's up? In September, your girl is going to see Beyonce. I'm so excited. This is my first time ever seeing Beyonce. And I got a dress for the occasion. So, if you wanna see how I turned these plain white boots into these amazing rhinestone fringe boots to go see Queen B, stay to the end of the video so you can learn how to do the same thing. Okay, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And all my supplies will be in my Amazon storefront in the link below. Okay, I think that's everything I need to tell you all. So let's get into the video. So my inspo for these boots were the beach hella boots and the summer renaissance dress from the Belmont collection. These boots are going to be dupe red bottoms. So the first thing we have to do is tape up all around the heels of them. And I'm going to use the walk on red that I got from Amazon to make them dupes. So I took a sponge brush and first I went all around the perimeter of the sole first and then I painted within the sole. And I try to go into one direction as much as possible, but getting into the grooves were kind of difficult. So be patient and kind of dip it a little bit. Okay, let that first coat completely dry and then go in with your second coat. You wanna go in one direction as much as possible. I had to press in so I can go into those grooves, as I said before, and then go into one direction. This is completely optional. If y'all do not wanna do this, y'all do not have to do this. Comparing our DIY red bottoms to actual red bottoms, I think they're pretty good. Don't judge my heels because they're old. Okay. Now once our soles are dry, we are going to tape the bottom of the soles so we protect them from all the other painting we're gonna do. Tape the little zipper portion so that is protected also. The boots are patent leather, so you're gonna have to use acetone to wipe all over the boots. And then after that, you're going to have to use a sanding sponge to buff out the boots. And this is gonna remove that sheen gloss so that the boots will absorb the paint and it'll stay on the boots. I hope y'all can tell that one boot is a little bit more duller than the other boot and that is the one that the gloss is removed from. Okay, prep is over and now it's time to paint. So I'm gonna use this sterling silver from the same company that I got the walk on red from. I poured a little bit of it out and I sprayed some silver spray paint in it and this is just going to give me that silver tone that I really want. Paint in one direction from top to bottom and paint in thin layers. I use about five layers of paint to get that silver metallic look that was kind of opaque that I really wanted. And after those five layers, this is how the boots looked like. Aren't they so cute? Don't judge the robustiness of my work area. It's a work area. Now I'm gonna use this gloss to give it a little bit of sheen and same company as all the other products. This is also gonna protect the color of your boots. So I'm just gonna use a rag and I'm just going to wipe it all the way down. And then I'm gonna wait 24 hours for it to completely dry. Now it's decoration time. So I'm gonna use this 10 yard of tinsel fringe and I'm going to use my rhinestone chains. They're six inches, so I don't know why I measured it out, but they're six inches. So you're just going to cut a bunch of six inch rhinestone link chains. So yeah, you're going to use about eight to 10 rhinestone chain rolls. So it's way more than this pile, but this is a starter. I'm going to use E6000 to glue the rhinestone links onto the tinsel fringe. Please, when you're using E6000, please be in a very well ventilated area. You do not want to be stuck in here, but I'm just going to glue down the links to the rhinestone fringe, leaving a little bit of space in between. And this is how it should look like. Aren't they so cute? Now it's time to attach them to the boots. So I'm gonna mark out where I want the ends to be and I'm going to measure it so I can measure out the fringe. And I'm going to write a line all around the boots so it is going to be straight. So I'm going to hot glue it all around and then I am going to E6000 glue it at the ends of each tinsel fringe so that the ends are securely on there. 
so I use a blow dryer on cool setting to set the E6000 so I can move on to the other tiers of the fringe that's going to help a billion. So this is how all the other tiers look and great that we're here but now it's time to do the top and the top is going to be different than the rest of the tiers so let's do it. So you are going to cut a bunch of these three links of the rhinestone chains for the top you're going to cut a bunch of them not this little but a bunch and what you're going to do with them is you're going to use E6000 and you're going to glue them down alternating them with your six inch rhinestone chains so it looks like it's a full band of rhinestones and when you're all done with that and the rhinestones have dried you're going to clip up that rhinestone fringe and you are going to e6000 them up to the top of your boots yes you're going to use e6000 around the whole entire top because you want this top to be the most secure layer so yeah, and then you're going to leave it for about a full day to completely dry and harden. Once the E6000 has completely set, you're going to cut a little like inch slit in the back of your boots and you're going to use these hooks to sew them into that slit. And this slit is so you have space for your thighs to enter the boots because those E6000 will not allow your thighs to budge. And you're going to sew this up so you can hook in the back and stay on. But yeah, these are the boots when you're all done with them. Oh my gosh, congratulations, look at us. And yes, these are some main character energy boots. I am living for them. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I'm going to make a matching top for the boots. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. I'm so excited to see Beyonce as I've said again. And if you decide to recreate these boots or anything that I make, definitely tag me because I want to give y'all y'all flowers. Okay, I'll see you in the next one and bye.